Hi, so welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then in this session, I am going to teach you about how to hide the icons and then show icons on the navigator as well as a springboard now. Let us go there and then have a look at it. No sharp screen. So now uh, we are in the springboard actually. So in the springboard, what happens is we have an icon called product management. So if you click on the product management, what happens you know, see you know, within the product management, we have product information management is also to which we are going to get an item. So let me hide the product management totally. I'm not going to hide the product management in total. Now. So go there, go to the place, fine, go there. I will not go to the tools, no, fine, go to the tools. And then not tools. I go to the configuration. In the configuration, I go to the sandboxes. I will not create a sandbox actually. The configurator, what happens? I go to the sandbox. So click on the create sandbox. I'm not creating a sandbox actually. So let me create a sandbox now. So go there. It is a test. Fine. Test is sandbox. I'm creating it. So I will now enable the structure for it. Fine. Structure I'm enabling. And test is already there. So I will now say test one two. So uh, because name is there, fine. I give a different name. Fine. So test structure is there. So click on create. Fine. So click on create. So sandbox for the structure is now getting created actually. And then a yellow strip will be coming on the top. Now we are going to customize the springboard for the structure actually. The product information management has to be removed actually. So it is now entering into the sandbox now, fine. Uh, once when the sandbox is coming, you will be finding a yellow box coming on the top actually. So we are into the sandbox actually. So our idea is to what? Remove the product management. Right? The product management which is now coming over here, this one. The product management, I want to remove now, fine. The product management. So you go to the tools and then go to the structure. And tool structure is an indication. I will now go to the tool structure and then identify the product management from this one. I will now go to the tools structure now. Fine, go that. I will now identify the product management. So navigate down. If I go on subscription management, everything is coming. If I go that. So here you'll now go down and then see this. Go there. So you'll now see fine. You'll now gradually scroll down. And you'll now find the product management coming up for you. So <clears throat> There exactly is we have to find out the product management. I think it must have been in the beginning itself. So I made a mistake. So let us go to the beginning itself and then see product management, subscription management, all these things are coming. Uh this management. Uh, this is the product management. So click on the hyperlink of it. Okay. In the main header itself, what happens? I am not clicking on the hyperlink. Click on the hyperlink. So once when you click on the hyperlink, it will now open up. Right. The product management will now open up. Click on the hyperlink. Of it. Now, uh, on the main one, on the main uh, one, headings, what happens? You can only disable on the navigator. The moment you disable on the navigator, it gets disabled on the springboard also. So click on the edit again. It's called EL expression. You click on it. The EL expression, I'm clicking on the edit. And then there is a big expression is coming. If, go there, if you click on the validate, it will not say it will not evaluate everything, and then it will not say whether it will be visible or not. So if it says it is a, what happens a true, fine, it is not true. That means what? It will be visible actually. So let us not make it as false. No, fine. So you have to make it as false actually. Fine, go there. So it is now giving a lot of what happens a security context. No, fine. So many security contexts are there. So if, if you are what happens if you are using if you are using a product management role or a service manager profile or this thing, this thing, this thing, what happens? It becomes true. No? So let us know what happens. There is a, if you go and then keenly look at it now, fine. There is one uh, exclamation mark, fine. If it is not in this thing, if it's not in this thing, then it will be true actually. So let us now remove all the exclamation marks, fine. Now go there. I will now remove it. Now go there. So I will now remove all the expression marks, fine. Go there. So go there. Now this user, uh, it is applicable for this user actually. Go there. Go there. Click on it. I am now removing all the exclamation marks. Now let us now click on validate now, fine. Click on validate. So click on validate. Now what happens? You can now see it has become false actually. Now what happens? You keep okay fine. Click on. Now it will not be visible on the navigator. Naturally, Springboard also it will not be visible. So go there. Click on it. So it is now done now. Fine. Click on save now. Fine. Click on save. You are now saving it actually. So it is now save. Now what happens? If you go there, click on the Springboard now. Fine. The navigator can spring. First of all, you know, check up on the navigator actually. In the navigator, you see fine. You will not find the product management at all. So the product management will not be visible at all. Go down, go down, and have a look at it. So go there. 
So here in this place, what I'm saying is Redwood Sales Service, me, procurement, help desk, subscription, contract management, order management, supply chain, execution, receivables, and then this thing. So now here it is not visible. Now let us now enable it again. Now we'll now enable it again. Then go back now. Right? So we'll now enable it again. <laughs> So go to the place, the sim way, what am I doing now? Fine, go to the tools and then go to the structure now. Fine, go to the structure. So for the product management, I will now enable everything or visibility actually. Okay. So in this place, what happens, even if you go to the home, this uh, home icon, here also it will not be visible. So we have seen on the springboard, it is not visible. So if you click on the home also, what happens, it will not be visible at all. Fine, click on this. I will now click on the home icon now. <clears throat> so let me go on and click on the home icon. Fine, click on the home icon. So here also, what happens, it will not be visible at all. <clears throat> Because we have now made the EL expression as false, actually. So once with the EL expression is false, false, what happens? It will not be visible here also. Navigator is the top one. And then if it is not visible in the navigator, then uh, nowhere it will be visible, actually. So go there. Others, <clears throat> go there, go there. Now look at it. Now look at it. Now look at it. And go there. So uh, uh, sales, P, procurement, help desk, subscription. Fine. Uh, then afterwards, what happens? Everything is done. In the box. <clears throat> the supply chain portal, fine. All this in there. So it is not visible at all. Right? The product management is gone. The product management is gone. So let us now bring back the product management. Let us now bring back the product. So I'll again go to the tools and then go to the structure now. Find tool structure. So navigator and then springboard, both the places are, is not visible. Navigator at the top, if you remove from the navigator, it will get automatically removed from the springboard also. So for the main ones, we can remove only from the navigator actually. Go there. So we'll not, what happens, go there, other, open up again the product management. So product management, I will not click on it. So let us know what happens. Make it visible actually. So click on it now. Fine. We'll now put the exclamation mark. That is a not not the one. Fine. Everywhere the exclamation mark. I'm going to put it. So if you click on what validate. Fine. If you click on validate, there is no exclamation mark at all. Fine. Go So it it is now showing as a false. Now let us now put the exclamation mark. Okay. So give it escape now. Again, click on edit now. I have given an escape actually. And then put the exclamation mark in the same place actually. So go there. So here also, what happens? We have an exclamation mark. Fine, go there. Exclamation mark, go there. And then in all the four places also the exclamation marks go there. And do it in a very systematic manner. Fine. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. And then it also I'm not putting it. Exclamation mark I'm putting it. So click on validate. Now what happens? It will now become true actually. It's not becoming true. Fine, go there. Click on okay and then give a save on this. No, fine, click on it. I will not give a save. So I'm now saving it. Fine, go there. So once it is saved, what happens? It will not go to the navigator. Then have it now saved. So click on the navigator on the left hand side. Account. Now you'll see the product management coming up. So go there. So procurement, fine, product management has come. So if you drop down now, what happens? It has now come. I will not check on the navigator also. On the springboard also. I will now go to the home and then click on the springboard and then make a check. The springboard also we are checking it. <clears throat> so here, go there, click on it. Uh, go there, go there, go there. So it will be coming somewhere now. Product manual has come. The product manual has come. Now, my next purpose is what? Uh, I do not want to remove it, but one of the components of the product management I want to remove. Go to the product management. So here, what happens? I will not say I want to, I want to remove product information management only. But product management, I want to have only product information management has to go, and that too only on the springboard and not on the navigator, actually. Right? Only on the springboard, it has to go away, but not on the navigator. So these components can be removed either on the navigator or on the springboard also. Right? And again, what happens? We will not remove it only on the springboard. But if you remove any of the components on the navigator, automatically it gets removed from the springboard also. So this has got an option of a, a, only one place removal. Fine, go there. I'll not go to the place. So go to the tools and then go to the structure. I will not remove the product information management. You go to the tools and then go to the structure now. Go there. So I will now go to the what product management. I expand it. I expand it. Now I'm not clicking on the hyperlink of it. I'm now going to expand this product. Now. Right. Expand the product management. So once when you expand it, what happens? It will not show the components of the product management. All this is coming. So the product information management is a component of product management. This I'm going to do. And if you click on the hyperlink of it, it will not show two uh, things now. One on the navigator and then one on the springboard, actually. So go down, okay. So you know, saying show on the navigator and then show on springboard is available. But the, on the main one, it is available only on the navigator. Now, only on the springboard, I'm going to remove. So click on it. And if you remove the navigator, it gets automatically removed on the springboard also. Fine. Springboard only, I can remove it. 
So if you click on validate, what happens? It's not showing you what? It will not show us true now. Fine. Let us know. Remove the exclamation mark. Remove the exclamation mark. So click on OK. Fine. Exclamation mark is removed. Fine. Click on OK. And then what happens? You go there. And then what happens? Again, go to the show on Springboard. And then we will not validate. It has to become false, actually. Springboard validation. I'm going to go to the spot. Click on validate. It will not show us false. False. Okay. Fine. Then false. Fine. We will not save it. Fine. Click on save. So if you click on save, you're not saving it now. Fine. That concept. And now, <clears throat> what happens? You go there. And then we'll not have a look at the springboard. And no save. Right? Click on the home icon. So click on the home icon there in the top. And then you go to the product management. Product management will be visible, but spring in springboard it will not be visible. Product information management will not be visible. So go there. I will now go to the product management. So go to the product management. So go to the product management. And then here, what I do is go down, and then you can see this is not available at all. Right. So in the product management, it is there. And product management is there. But product information management is there. If you try to add, no, fine. Click on plus and then try to add on the product management. There is an add icon there. Fine. We'll not try to add it. We'll see what happens. Go there. So go down, go down, go down, go down. Everything is there. Let me <coughs> procurement. Fine. Well, help this. Fine. Product management. So in the product management, what happens? The product information management, this tick mark has been removed by the customization action. And if you put a tick mark automatically, it will now put the not, not, not everywhere. Fine. It will not do it. So it is okay. You can even at any time, what happens? You can even enable it actually. Now we will not see on the navigator if they're doing anything now. Fine. We are not doing anything. Fine. So I will not give a cancel now. And then along with the name. This place, what happens? You go there. So this place, if you go on and see what happens, it will be visible now. Fine. Product management. You see the product information. So there, what happens? You have to only put a plus and then do it. But if you remove the entire product management itself, fine, then it will not be visible at all. Even in both the places, it will not be visible actually. Fine. Then after having done this, what happens? What do you have to do? You have to go to the test. And then here, you have to publish it. It's a four-step process. Click on it. And then click on publish. Fine. This is step number one. You are going to publish it. Fine. So it will now ask you, yes, fine. Click on yes. Now, fine. This is the second step. And then third step is what? Again, click on publish. Fine. Again, click on publish. Fine. And then click on yes. Now. After doing all the four steps, what happens? The yellow strip will go away. Yellow strip will go away. Fine. The yellow strip is gone now. Fine. It is preferable to what happens? The logout and login. Fine. Sign out. And then sign in. Sign out and sign in. Fine. Click on confirm. And then sign in. And then uh, uh, whenever you make any major changes, have a habit of signing it on signing it. So that whatever now you can see uh, the product management is visible. Fine. If you click on the product management, the product information management is not visible. Actually. And then the left hand side, what happens? It will be visible. So you can even add and then put a tick mark. The, it, the system will automatically put an exclamation mark over there whenever you're adding it via that now. So go to the product management. So you can even go to the product management directly from here. Itself. So this is the customization of what the springboard and the navigator customization for the entries and the main entries as well as the sub entries actually. Fine. This is how the way the icons can be shown or hidden actually. Fine. I hope that you understood it, man. So bye for now. <clears throat> fine. I sell my classroom records at oraclenana.com slash INVPO. Oraclenana.com slash INVPO. And you can uh, approach me and then uh, for any clarifications. Bye for now.